Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day day today we're going over the top 10 halfbacks in madden 24 ultimate team this is going to be my last time updating the halfback list it has been a fantastic run updating the best halfbacks in madden 24 for you fellas and if you fellas enjoy these type of videos then you're in the right place because you boys know we're hitting you back with the madden 25 ultimate team top 10 list as well as the college football ultimate team top 10 list those videos will be here in four days fellas i am so excited for some cut in my life now before we hop into the video i just want to make this known something that i've been doing and kind of following throughout the entirety of my top 10 list i'm not doing any cards that you can't buy for coins so rookie premieres and theme team all-stars that you have to upgrade using the remix coins i'm leaving them out i just don't think like they're all very similar and then rookie premieres are just they're juiced. It's the end game. You're not really using that card if you're playing Mutt. So let's slide on over to Mutt where I have number 10 and I have Thurman Thomas. Now off rip, you might be like, whoa, this card's actually solid, but let's talk about it. Yeah. And for me personally, I think Thurman Thomas is really good. I think all the halfbacks on this list are freaking dope. Halfback is the most deep, is, is the deepest position in the game. Most deep, not English. So deepest position in the game. 98 speed, 89 truck, 98 break tackle. 89 truck, that's a little low on a 99 overall. He's 5'10", 200 pounds, and he has a very, very good spin, juke, you know, stiff arm, 99 ball carrier vision. He is going to be your yak halfback, and the real reason I say that is wall one, baked in truss, never really understood that, but it's really because he gets yak him up for one AP. Very interesting. Do not hate it, though. I think this is unique, and if this is what's something you're looking for, Thurman Thomas is going to be your halfback one, but for me personally, I don't think like Yakima up is necessarily needed on a running back. I would prefer a angry runs passive. So that's why I have Thurman Thomas at number 10. Also has tank, evasive, energizer, and leapfrog. Get to pick two of those. All in all though, Thurman Thomas is not a terrible halfback option. So before we hop on over to number nine, I just want to say this is the first time I'm making this list without a combine Bo Jackson on it what that card was generational but at number nine i have eric dickerson i know he is low on my list he's personally my halfback one i just haven't upgraded him because you know am i really playing madden competitively online no I'm trying to get my rookie premieres done and dickerson is serviceable 98 speed six foot three 97 change of direction 98 truck 99 break tackle he has been a top 10 halfback since the day he came out. He was a top five halfback for probably five months. Like this Eric Dickerson card had a generational run in Madden 24. And that is really because of this angry runs NFL combine. Shout out the combine Bo Jackson promo, a electric OG, going to be a legendary promo to talk about years from now. But Eric Dickerson, very, very good as the ring of honor card. I hope we get ring of honor back in Madden 25. I mean, we probably should. But I don't think we get an Eric Dickerson again, so that will definitely suck. The abilities on him, though, you know, everything else is very typical. You're really picking up this card for one, the Angry Runs NFL Combine, and two, I guess if you're running the Ang or the NFL or the Ring of Honor like cards. But all in all, there are better halfback options now. Yeah, so ten through eight are like, all right, these cards are good, but there are better options. At number eight, I have AJ Dillon. I would prefer AJ Dillon over Eric Dickerson. Like I said. Dickerson is my halfback one for me on my team, but that's just because I don't want to spend the coins to pick up another halfback. AJ Dillon, though, six foot 99 speed, 99 truck, 99 break tackle. He would be higher up on this list, but there's a better golden ticket halfback. Does cost significantly more coins, but Dillon is a solid option. He is a golden ticket, so he gets charged up angry runs or any other charged up you could want on your halfback. And then discounted wise on AJ Dillon, reach for an evasive as well as backfield master, bruiser, freight train, and route tech. I really think AJ Dillon is one of the best value halfbacks you boys can pick up and add to your squad. So at number seven, I have Brandon Jacobs from the Crucible promo. Now I will say you could flip him and AJ Dillon if you prefer. I prefer the extra weight on my halfbacks. Plus I gave golden tickets like a shitty ranking in my top 10 worst promos of the year. So I cannot be showing him that much love. Brandon Jacobs though, as a card, looks very interesting he is 97 speed which yes is at 99 but fellas it is july 11th happy 7 11 day you can easily upgrade brandon jacobs to 99 speed and without breaking the bank he also six foot four 264 pounds 
He is a big body halfback. He would probably be higher up on my list if William Perry halfback did not exist. Ability-wise on Brandon Jacobs. Gets a charged up whatever one you want. If you're not running angry runs, then buddy, what are you doing? He also gets tank as well as three other discounted abilities. I personally did not get to play much of the Crucible promo. Wasn't home, but from what I have seen and you know, playing against this Brandon Jacobs online, this card is a filthy, filthy card. Yeah, so I mentioned it during the AJ Dillon section, but I have Marshawn Lynch at number six. Like I said, cannot be showing the golden ticket promo that much love, but I really think this Marshawn Lynch card is a top six halfback in the game. When I did my best free golden ticket video to make the pick, I think I posted it up yesterday. Somebody was hating on me for having Marshawn Lynch up there. Sorry, I think this card is very good. He's not as big as Brandon Jacobs or AJ Dillon, but I do think he is better. 99 speed, 99 truck, 99 brake tackle, 5'11", 215 pounds, you know, that low center of gravity, Doug Martin, Marshawn Lynch type of runners. Yeah, I miss those kind of halfbacks. We went, I guess we don't really have many of those in the NFL right now besides like David Montgomery. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know down below. But ability-wise on Marshawn Lynch, let's get back to virtual trading cards. He's got tank and backfield master for one AP, evasive, energizer, truss, and freight train. For me personally, I'm putting on evasive freight train and I guess tank on this Marshawn Lynch card with the charged up angry runs if I were to pick him up. But again, fellas, look how much this card is selling for. It is not worth your coins. Go finish your rookie premieres and get on college football, especially ultimate team. All right, so somehow I forgot to have Arian Foster on my list. So we're calling Arian Foster 5.5. I don't know how I forgot to have him. I had him written down and everything, but I just just skip them. So sorry, Arian Foster. I think this card is really freaking good. And I cannot post this video without having Arian Foster on at least talking about him. I think he is a top half of the list type of running back 98 speed, 99 truck, 99 break tackle and an elusive back. So you know, he's going to have good juking, good spin move, good stiff arm, good ball carrier vision. Definitely one of the better all around backs in the game. I miss when Arian Foster was tearing up fantasy football. That was the freaking day, fellas. I was also like 14, so nothing really mattered in my life. Now back to Arian Foster's again, virtual trading card. He's got Energizer, Evasive, Human Joystick, Running Back Apprentice, and Route Tech. He's a fan appreciation card, so he gets like infinite discounted abilities. Like I've been saying about all these fan appreciation cards all year they've been out, there are so many ways to actually play these cards, and that is why I'm a big fan of them. Yes, the packs we got with the FAP promo, absolute dog shit, but the cards we got for the most part were very good, and Arian Foster, a top half of the list, best running back in the game. Yeah, so like I said, I forgot to have Arian Foster on this list, but I have him and Jamal Charles tied. I think Jamal Charles is really good with the Crucible promo. I think you could put Arian Foster above him, but it's my video and we ball. Every time I play this Jamal Charles card, I get absolutely tortured by him. So yeah. 99 speed though, another fantasy football legend back in the day. Can we talk about that? Yeah, we will later. 5'11", 199, 99 speed, 99 break tackle, like I said. Evasive or elusive running back with baked in first one free. Yeah, he's also a crucible card. So he gets charged up anger runs or any other charged up ability you could possibly want. And again, he is a crucible card. So he gets as many discounted abilities as you probably need on him. He was the LTD. So he does get an extra one over Brandon Jacobs. And I do think Jamal Charles is a top half of the end game. Best halfback in the game. Let me know down below. So far, who has been your favorite running back we have talked about? Cracking the top four now, and this is where I have Sean Alexander. Yeah, when this card came out, I was a big Sean Alexander hater. This is also Adrian Peterson, another Commander's legend running back, but Sean Alexander, where are you, my guy? Are you just not in the catalog? Hey, yo, what? Yeah, this has been the weirdest thing that's been happening to me. Like cards that should be in the catalog aren't in the catalog. And that is just what happened with Sean Alexander. EA, fix your damn game. It's July 11th. All right. Sean Alexander coming in at number four for me, a 5'11", 225 pound power halfback. You might be asking yourself what when this card came out, you were shitting on him. Yeah. I know. He's also going for 1.1 million coins, so not necessarily worth it, but I do think this card is an absolute freak. You might be sitting on your, like, in front of your phone or your iPad or whatever and be like, Mosh, he's got 97 speed. Yeah, like I said for Brian and Jacobs, you could choose that speed very easily. Do I think he's worth picking up for this price? No, but if you do pull him or somehow manage to get this card for free, I don't know how he's an LTD, but 
whatever definitely a fun card to use i think he's basically a worse walter payton let's talk about it why really quick let's check out the best stacks that people are using on him i feel like that would be a more efficient way to talk about this card he gets angry runs and trus and first one free and evasive that is why this card is so freaking good he has so many just usable discounted abilities this card is just a one-of-a-kind halfback something we really haven't seen much of a running back with trus angry runs and then you can put first one free as your charge of x factor all in all though i do think walter payton is better and he's like a fourth of the price so i don't necessarily know why you would run with sean alexander unless you're like a seahawks theme team maybe or a commander's theme team commander's legend sean alexander but I don't know. I don't necessarily think he's worth the price, but I do think he is a top four halfback in the game. Yeah, geez, I'm just shitting down my whole video, but whatever we ball. At number three, I have the better, the cheaper Sean Alexander and Walter Payton. 98 speed, 5 foot 10, 99 change of direction, 97 truck, 99 break tackle. You can make the argument to me that he is the best halfback in the game, and you know what? I wouldn't argue with it. I do think this Walter Payton card is very freaking good and like sean alexander he gets angry runs as a passive x factor for one a p energizer evasive and backyard halfback like i said for sean alexander i think he's very good i don't think he's worth the price and that is honestly why i have walter payton over him he also does have better stats than sean alexander but fellas, he is selling for how many coins? Like 250,000 coins, 300K, 254,000 coins. You can buy, if my math is right, like five Walter Paytons before you buy one Sean Alexander. Buddy, what are you doing if you buy Sean Alexander? All right, so at number two, now this is could be a controversial one i have william perry and like i said you can probably flip him and walter payton and maybe sean alexander if you want but i think this card is so unbelievably dominant every single time i play this card i'm getting pounded on by this william perry and then like william perry quarterback and then like william perry everywhere and it's just not a fun game and i usually leave halfway through the first quarter because this guy is just so freaking dominant six foot two 335 pounds i don't even care that he has 97 speed like i've been saying for the last probably 12 minutes of this video you can boost up 97 speed fairly easy in madden 24 on 7 11 go get a free slushy ability wise on william perry freight train as a path or a baked in ability charge charged up angry runs so starts on goes off it's disgusting i'm sure we all know how that works evasive energizer tank and backyard halfback for one ap I don't even care that he only has two discounted slots. He does baked in freight train and then charged up angry runs. That's all you really want in a 335 pound big ass boy of a halfback. Yeah, and coming in at number one, I have the newest halfback in the game. It's Red Zone Royale, Jameer Gibbs. I mean, this card literally has everything in the entire freaking game. One, if you're using this card, buddy what are you doing i hope you have all your rookie premieres finished this card is selling for way too many coins same thing with sean alexander but jameer gibbs is the best halfback in the game it's pretty damn like it's not close at all 99 speed 99 change of direction 98 truck 99 break tackle he is an elusive back so you know he is going to have a juiced up juke spin you know all the good elusive back stats now ability wise on red zone royale uh jameer gibbs charge up angry runs for one ap energizer first one free and freight train all baked in as well as like every other discounted ability you could possibly freaking want to have on a halfback i it's the end game is really my only answer for why this card exists in this game yeah fellas that is my top 10 halfbacks in madden 24 the last time we are going to update this list let me know down below what you boys think about this last list before we wrap it up i also just want to give you boys a quick little piece of emoji news so as we know college football ultimate team will be here in four freaking days yeah i know we are so freaking close and i want to give you guys as much content as much information as possible but we also have madden ultimate team coming in about a month so we're going to be on a heavy grind and do not worry we're going to be posting both games as much as possible but youtube does not like when you spam five posts to one channel it kind of screws with your algorithm your views and fellas we're trying to make this a full-time thing so we can't necessarily be screwing over the youtube algorithm but what i will say is we do have the second channel originally i wasn't going to post any ultimate team content over there i was just going to make you know whatever else i wanted to make but after thinking about it and making a community post and seeing that you guys would be cool with it i will post over some ultimate team content on that channel 
don't worry i'll link it in the description and every time i post an ultimate team video over there i'll make sure to like post a community post saying like yo second channel ultimate team video go check that out you know we want to do this full time i want to be sitting here every single day talking about ultimate team for you fellas for a very long time and i feel like this is the best way to achieve that goal so i appreciate you boys for everything you have done and again if you have made it this far Thank you, fellas, so much. The growth we have made across Madden 24, going into college football 25. Fellas, I appreciate every single one of you more than you probably even know. So that is everything I got. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll catch you boys later with probably going to be the greatest video you ever seen. But until then, peace.